knowledge can be represented graphically by using conceptual dependency. It is language independent representation and we can derive new knowledge very easily. There are five building blocks to represent knowledge in conceptual dependency. First entities, action, conceptual case, conceptual tense and conceptual dependency. Entities are the objects that are involved in the event. Entities are two types, picture producer and the picture adder, attribute of the picture producer. For example, David ran. David is performing this action, so that means David is the picture producer. Suresh is tall. Suresh is the picture producer. Tall describes some attributes of the Suresh, so that's why tall is picture adder. Raman took the book from Harry. Harry, book, Raman. They are directly involved with that event. So they are the picture producer. A nice boy. Boy is the picture producer. Nice is the attribute of the boy. So nice is the picture adder. In a sentence, there will be either primitive action or action adder. All the actions are categorized into 11 primitive cases. A trans, P trans, propel, M trans, M build, speak, attend, move, grasp, ingest and expel. Whenever you will get a sentence, you have to decide which type of action it is. For example, David gave the book to Harry. It means the owner of the book is David. Now Harry will be the owner. Transfer of an abstract entity. So that means a trans. Sanjay pushed the chair. It means Sanjay is applying forces to the chair. Means it is propelled. In this way, you have to define which type of action it is. There are four conceptual cases. Objective case, recipient case, instrumental case and the directive case. They are represented as O-R-I-D. It represents the relationship between the noun and the verb. Here, I am taking four examples for four different cases. Rajiv pushed the cart. Here, cart is the objective of the action pushed. So this is the objective case. Raman took the book from Harry. In this case, Harry is the source. Raman is the receiver. So this is the recipient case. Sanjay ate ice cream with a spoon. So this is the instrument we are using to perform this event. So it means this is instrumental case. And in this case, Suresh went to Delhi from Raipur. It means there is some direction. He is moving from Raipur to Delhi. So this is the directive case. Conceptual dependency describes the rules to represent knowledge. Some rules are described here. These are the rules to represent conceptual cases. Objective case, R, recipient case, instrumental case and the directive case. Now consider the first sentence. John ran. John is the picture producer. Ran is the P trans. Because you are moving from one location to the another location. Now, this type of sentence can be represented as John P. Trans. So, this is the symbol. Ran is the past tense. So, that will be represented by P. In conceptual tense, we represent past tense by P, future tense by F. So, here you can see John P. Trans. You will write P here. Similarly, John is a doctor. John is the picture producer. Doctor is the picture producer. But doctor describes John itself. So, we will represent John doctor this way. Here I am showing you more examples. More rules to represent the knowledge. For example, John took the book from Mary. Action is a trans. John performed this action. Book is the objective, so we will represent John A trans objective case book. Now, books going from Mary to John, so this is the recipient case. So, this is the representation of this sentence. In this way, whenever you will get a sentence, first of all, you have to find out the picture producers, then you have to find out the action type of action and conceptual cases. Next, conceptual tense, then apply conceptual dependency to represent the sentence.